lot. All right, we're not going to hang out for this. You got any interesting stories about here? A whole lot. G give me one. I don't need a whole lot, just one. One of Miss Rigsby was with us there. It was homeroom. She caught me smoking three times. The third time, she said, Cliff, what are we going to do with you? But I thought you were allowed to smoke. We were, but I was smoking. In the classroom? In, in the side. Oh, okay, okay. She said, uh, um, oh, you had to go outside to even smoke the light up. Sometimes I light up when I got out there. She caught me. She said, Cliff, what are we going to do with you? I said, give me another chance. And I thought I was in trouble. She gave me another chance. So I said to myself, you know what? If I don't smoke at all, she can't catch me. So I quit smoking. Oh, all right. So and what was, you, what was your cigarette of choice? At that time? Yes, at that Bobby time. Winston's. Oh, okay. And, but I, I smoked until I was until 1990. And I was smoking three packs a day of Terry Fields Lights. And I said to myself, you know what? This is going to kill me. My daddy died of lung cancer. And I am smoking. And we were at a party. It was 12 of us that graduated high school together in Sanford at Pokies. And I looked up, it was New Year's night, and it was smoke. And I said, I'm on one naked smoke. I thought it was. So I'm hurting y'all too. So at 12 o'clock, I'm quitting. And, uh, and I told, I said, God, if you'll help me quit, I will promise you I won't start back no more. So when I got ready to smoke one, I knew I'd made a promise to God I wouldn't smoke no more. And I quit. I was able to quit. So you haven't smoked in 33 years? No, I haven't smoked no more. I don't care anything about it, don't want to be around it. And when did your dad pass away, how old was he? My dad was 66 when he passed away, and I'm 75 now. There you go. So uh, time flies by, and I, I'm doing pretty good. But I can tell if I hadn't smoked, I, I, may, I think my voice would have been better. But um, a little respiratory problems. So tell everybody don't smoke. All right. Best memory besides Miss Rigsby telling you that she was going to give you she's another never, chance? She's never done nothing to me. But she's that kind of a gal. She was a good girl. And now I found out later she was a local girl on 501. She raised, grew up on the, where the uh, Strouds dairy farm. Okay, yeah. She, well, she was a Stroud. So I said, she's like, uh, like uh, Joyce. She went to school here, turned around and come back as a teacher. And she spent a lot of time in the school. And done a lot for the area, for the people. A whole lot, man. And my sister loved her too. And she had her. I got five sisters. You got five sisters? Three brothers. Okay, because I was going to say, if you have five sisters and you're the only boy, you probably had a... No, I got three brothers. All right. And, uh, well, well, among the eight of you, among the nine, eight, 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 so among the eight of you, were you like, like your middle child, youngest child? Uh, well, really, it was ten. We had one boy, boy born, born in only after a month. But out of ten, I've been number seven. Seven, okay. Number, out of nine, I'm number I'm six. All right. Number six. Jasmine, Georgia, Joyce, Springs, Josephine, and me. You're just checking to make sure you got them everybody counted. And I tell you, their birthdays, oh, they are. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's, that's good. I, I only have a sister, and I have to remember her birthday. But I sometimes forget to call her, but she calls me to remind me that I forgot to call her. Yeah, all this, all this group here, we're in school together. Yeah. And you graduated in 69? 68. 68, okay. Can I listen in? Oh, yes. No, this is not about this place. Oh, this is not about <laughs> this place. Well, then we don't hey, want to listen in. We learned to keep our mouth shut when you get the camera. There you go. <laughs> 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 I have to.